Welcome to QLM Business News. Here are today's news stories. Bus fares in England set to increase to £3 under new budget plan. In a new budget measure announced by Prime Minister Sir Keir Starmer, England's single bus fare cap will be raised from £2 to £3. This increase, taking effect from January, extends the previous government's fare cap policy, which was set to expire at the end of December, offering continued relief for travellers amid rising living costs. Sir Keir acknowledged the impact of bus fares on rural communities, where public transport remains a lifeline for millions of people. I do know how much this matters, particularly in rural communities where there is heavy reliance on buses, he said, confirming the cap would continue through to the end of 2025. About 3.4 million people in England depend on buses for their daily commutes. While some feared that the cap might end entirely, causing fares to rise substantially, the adjusted fare limit aims to soften the blow. However, the change has not been without criticism. Transport for London fares will stay at £1.75, and those in Greater Manchester at £2, as these areas operate under different funding models and are therefore unaffected by the increase. The Confederation of Passenger Transport, Captain, welcomed the decision to raise the cap, highlighting that a complete removal of the limit would have created a cliff edge for many travellers. However, Captain warned that even the £3 cap might challenge some passengers financially particularly those reliant on affordable bus transport. For some, the increase in fares comes as a heavy blow. Lancaster University student Joshua Anderton, who commutes daily to attend lectures, shared his frustration, stating that the £3 cap could reduce his ability to afford essentials and even limit his social interactions. He added that the removal of return tickets has already made bus travel more expensive, making the cap rise even more challenging. Environmental groups also voiced their concerns, with Greenpeace UK's senior transport campaigner Paul Morozzo calling the decision unnecessary. He argued that affordable buses are essential for lower-income households and called on the government to reconsider. Transport experts warned that without carefully managing fares, public reliance on buses could decline. Bill Hyron, chair of Eastern Transport Holdings, remarked that suddenly reverting to higher fares would likely discourage passengers. It's not just a matter of hardship for some people, but also an issue of overall bus usage, he said. This news story is brought to you by QLM Business News, your digital media channel. Visit qlmbusinessnews.com for more business news stories. Also follow us on Facebook, X and YouTube. To help QLM Business News bring you more news stories like this, please like, share and subscribe.